you're not distracted by the turbo, you may be distracted by the lack of two doors on the rear. But you know, us Daves, we have good taste and pretty unique build. So what do you got here? Uh, it's a 67 Amazon wagon that I made look like the 64. Um, yep, the grill and the overrider. Yeah, and I even changed the squirter off the, the hood and put it in up on the cowl like they would have hey, had. I did that on mine as well. Yeah, I backdated it. Yeah. Yep. Uh, another thing is I used the full co uh, coupe quarters with the lower piece in the back. So how did you make this? Well, it's the coupe doors, of course, the and then it's doors. a coupe quarter. But this is all for a coupe, not a wagon. All this down wow. in here. Okay. What was so, different on the wagons down there? They just went straight. They didn't have any of this ridge or these in. Um, I don't know if there's any other wagons here. Really much for reference. Yeah, they're just a plain straight. Straight. Where's this rock? This one has this continuing curve roll and these two. How much roll beads? How much time did all this body work take? Oh, I don't know. I probably have. 500, and 500 hours of body work. There's, there's no way to really quantify it. Yeah. So to do this section, and you've yeah. gotten rid of the vertical. Yes. You this. All right, so uh, coupe yeah. quarters. Yeah, the coupe, the coupe doors, coupe quarters, but if you just put a coupe door on, the coupes, believe it or not, when you put them on, this actually starts to drop down a little, so the gap is huge. For the huge. roof line, yeah. So I had to cut this there's out it. of the four door yeah. and add it in to make that continue to keep um, the straightness. It's the coupe quarter back into here and then the coupe down in the lower. But then I had to cut the four-door door, this part out, to put in here and weld in. I keep so this is a I keep window. wanting to reach for a handle to be yeah. like, well, let's check out the back seat. But my goodness. So um, this is a beautiful color. What is it? It's a 1956 Ford Meadow Green. Meadow Green. Yeah, I got a soft spot the, for green ones. They used it on the trucks. I saw it on a street rod at a show and just loved it. Yeah. So, oh, this is that car. I saw it. I saw this in real life last month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the wagon owners gather. Yeah. And the wheels, what are they off of? They're the 740. 740. Yeah, I got a 740 wagon off the junk man. I've never seen these wheels before. Oh, they're, they're the plain wheels. Well, they just put the hubcaps on. Yeah. That's right, they're covered up. They're yeah, beautiful. So, so you've had to update the rear axle to do the 5 by 108 What I did is I took a 740 axle and I narrowed it. Okay. Sent the axles out, had them cut down, re-splined and yeah. everything. Wow. So it's a 740 axle. You but did this it, right. Yeah, I took the original axle, welded it to a table, cut it all up so I could lay everything in Amazing. and jig it. Um, but then they were all the same size and I had those small tires on the back and it revved too high. So I widened those wheels. I cut them and put a one-inch band to make them wider. Amazing. So I could put those big 215s on and it dished them. So it looks better too, but it really helped the gearing. So, yeah. My father-in-law has an Amazon with three quarters of a million on it. Three quarters of a million? He drives it every day. He's owned it since 72. Is that an 18? B18? B18. Yeah. Well, it's a, he's, it's a B18 with a B20 head, so he calls it a B17. What I think is this car's greatest success and testament to your work has been that you have kept so much of the classic appeal That's what I wanted while to do. doing so much of this like really tasteful yep. uh, modification. It's yeah, cool. I, I actually wasn't going to put this chrome back on uh -huh. and I welded all the hole shut, but the more I looked at it, you know, with this, I was like, yeah. it, it needed that, it, so I'm glad I put that back And you on. can't really custom make the, the, top the other one right to be longer for the two doors. Yeah. And I don't care for them actually up here anyway. I just never did. Yeah, I'm the same. It just feels like another spot for uh, moisture and dirt and yeah. all that. Yeah, yeah. Well, not a beautiful color though. I can't get enough of that. Pretty inside. Yeah, let's take a look at the inside. Maybe you can. Uh, well, I can show you this. Let's we'll start in the rear. Yeah. Sorry about the junk. Junk. So it is kind of like ours. Where you got like it's faster than you think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See. Uh, the battery is in there because there's no room up front. So. Why? What do you got up front? <laughs> a lot of turbo items. Oh, yeah. But yeah, oh, the uh, yeah I had to put a battery back there, so I had that old cooler to cover it up. And you color matched it. Yep. And the yeah. pinstriping's really Well, a friend too. of mine, he does all that hand pinstriping. Yeah. So I had him yeah, do all yeah. that for me. Now, you probably played with the idea of doing a pinstripe on the car. I did, but I don't 
I don't care for that too much on this air car. Yeah. Um, cooler, yeah, but I didn't want to get too much. You can get too busy. I didn't want to get too busy. There's enough chrome and everything yeah, going yeah. on. So. Yeah. So how recently did you kind of finish everything and get I, it, it roadworthy? The first uh, I took it anywhere was uh, imports of Carlisle in whatever. It only has two four, months ago or so. Yeah, Maybe. it's 400 miles. It's 400 all, miles. It's Woo! So, yeah. Yeah, I'm still breaking it in. I still the breaking oil in it. This has been redone. No, but I redo them. Oh, is it? Pa it's painted. That's just painted. Oh, I thought it was a new metal. But I've piece. been redoing them with brass. Uh, Joe Lazby has it for sale. Okay, yeah, so there is the them. option. I machine all this out and I put a new spring and everything in. Yeah. And redo them. I just didn't do this one yet. Boy, I spent a week trying to get all these pieces to line up when I was doing that. Oh, it's a pain. It, it, it can pain. be. And then the worst part is when you get a scratch here or something when you adjust something. Well, I did. Yeah. And I'm like, you know. Yeah. I can fix it down a road, but right now I'm not, I'm not backtracking anymore. At some point car. we have to just let the just car drive. age and patina and then make memories of it. Just drive. Yeah. Well, let's go see the rest of the interior. Okay. Let's check, check that out. Ooh. Did you color match that? No. Hot Wheels came out with this oh, yes. after I was done. Yeah, yeah, I can't find that one. I got like, I'm three sure or they're, four of them. They're all online now, yeah. but um, I just kept looking in the stores and it was all the 850s. Yeah, but. a guy up at Carlisle, he was up at Friday, he went home and took the wheels off because these aren't the wheels are supposed to be on. No? So he got the wheels to match mine and put them on. <laughs> now I got to paint them and I oh, want to make man. a roof rack yep. for it. But, this is a beautiful rack. But they made it a two door. They did make it, a, oh my goodness. Hot Wheels? Yeah. They stole your idea. Well, I had it done before. This even showed up. Yeah. 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 I got to redo on the interior though. I have the same switch, the yeah. old accessory. I love yeah. those. I did a couple set of these seats since these. I got to take this apart and shave that foam off there. Oh, oh what nice. <laughs> I noticed that too with VP stuff. Are you, the, yeah. are you the mechanic? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I have a wagon there that I just finished for a guy. You know, I like the way they fit better. <laughs> I want to see the back seat. Not <laughs> the ghosts. <laughs> You got two-door seat frames up front. Yeah, it's the way you have to. Interesting, the levers on the bottom there. Mine's, um, mine's up here on the yes. inside. Well, the other side, it's up top. I have two different Okay, so seats. was that a year-to-year -year difference? I, I guess? guess, so cool. I got to match them at some point. Yeah. Leather or vinyl on these? They're vinyl. Okay. Yeah, it's the VP interior. Yeah, I got the yeah, I have to readjust the shifter a little bit, the, the, uh, the, the gate for putting it in reverse. Yeah. I got to move it over a little bit, because first and second gear is a little hard to work on it right now. You know, we've been talking so much about the aesthetics. Let's see what you got under here. Yeah. Hot dog. Keep it in the family. Yeah. I wanted to keep every Volvo. The only thing that's not Volvo on the car is the brake setup oh, and wow. the motor mounts are small block Chevrolet motor mounts. Other than that, everything else is Volvo. Or, or custom. And I did redo the fronts to 240 vented disc brakes. So all that's 240 with the correct bolt pattern. How do you do the conversion? Is it just the uh, hub? Well, it's the, I use, you, well, if you can get an ES hub off an ES, they're getting hard to get. So yeah. I just took the original hubs and I had my machinist re-drill them. Oh. And uh, then the caliper. Oh, you got a spider. Oh. The calipers and black VLV for your parts for your Volvo. The original mounts for the for the Amazon, I just cut them off and then I made my own uh, piece to mount the calipers wow. to that. So amazing. Machined everything down. All right, so tell me about this engine. This is the. Uh, it's a 1990 740. It's a B234. It's the B230. But it's the 16 valve. But the head. The head's off of the whatever that other motor is. It's, you have to get the Yoshi Fab kit to make it all work. Yeah, yeah. The motor that had the 16 valve head had that counterbalance shaft in. So all the guys say that this is the block to use, not that other block. So. I see, I see. Yeah, I had it all set up with an 8 valve, and then a guy walked in my shop and said, I have a 16 that you just got to put on that. So, of yeah. course, I had to. It really, it really fits well. They look neat, yeah. but... It caused a lot of issues with turbo sizes. Oh, I see. Things. If I would have left it an eight valve, my turbo could have stayed low in the car and I wouldn't have all this high oh, heat issues. But uh, is it 
threatening to damage anything with the heat? Oh yeah, this doing I had to put it? this in because it was gonna melt the paint off under my hood, even with this. I can imagine. It was bad. Oh boy. So, so what about louvering the hood or anything? You want? You don't want to modify I the appearance? I, I, I know. I work on a lot of hot rods, but I just don't like louvers on these cars. Okay. So, uh, yeah, a friend of mine told me about this stuff, so I tried yeah. it. But worst came to worst, I was gonna louver. But I didn't want to. One of my favorite details, and you may not even notice this, but people like us who are always working on stuff. Yeah. Is you hide your zip ties in very inconspicuous oh, places. Oh, I forgot it was even late. <laughs> I was hey, working on this. You may need it. I was working on this this morning because I got yep. I got to change this to go under to get it away from here. Oh yeah. And I was gonna zip tie it up this morning. I and think our it wasn't long enough, so I ended up just wrapping it for the trip up. Yeah. No, I forgot it was even here. No, it's perfect. I think I let it there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good storage too. That is good. They can't have enough zip ties. Yeah. Now uh, you'll get. Do you have an estimation for how much power you think it's pulling? Uh, they're telling me if I run 15 pounds of boost that it'll be like 300 at the rear wheels. I don't know. Right now I'm only at 10 pounds and I haven't beat on it real hard yet at all. Still being gentle? It in. You said 400 miles. Yeah, yeah, I'm you, not You've pulled it once or twice? I, oh yeah, yeah, a couple times. It's hard, it's hard, you know, you get in after that first start and you're like, yeah, I mean, see. I've had it up to 10 pounds, but I don't like really rail it hard, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I, once I break it in, I get a couple thousand miles, I'll turn it up. How many years ago did you start this? I started this, I think, in 07 or 08. Oh, my goodness. But it sat for years. I was yeah. so busy. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're working. I got the body work all done, and I was going to run the original drive line in it. And I had it all set up, the original drive line. And my junk man gave me a 740 turbo that he got that had a blown head gasket. Yeah. So I started playing with that, and I had that all done and fabbed. And then the guy showed up with the 16-valve head, so then I had to start all over again with everything. And yep. And I didn't know what color I wanted to use. I couldn't figure out a brake system because I had no room for the brakes. That's just so cool the way you so made that work. It, it, until I figured out the brake system and the paint color, it sat for a I long. was so distracted by the turbo and just yeah. the big 16-valve head. I didn't even see that until you pointed it out. So I was like, whoa. Yeah, it's funny. When you look at the ones over here with a 16 in, and they're still leaning in the car because yeah. they lean. Yeah. You know, the turbo is really low. There's so much room in those seven. Oh, so what did you have to do for the sump or anything to, to get it to go yeah, vertical? Uh, yeah, I had to I had to modify the cross member, and then I had to take a B20 oil pan and cut also, the sump out of it, and then cut the sump out of USA. the original oh, and weld them together. Oh my goodness. And then I had to modify the oil pickup. You're already committed at that point. Everything yeah. in this car has been screwed with. There is nothing that has not been messed with. Yeah. I mean, everything. But you just made it look so good. You should be awfully proud. Yeah, it worked out good. Yeah, I even had to modify the steering column. I had to move the joint from up here down. Oh my goodness. So I had to shorten this one. And then this is a GM out of a GM car. It's a collapsible column. Nice. That nice. I stubbed into the original, so it is a collapsible column. And did you have to change the hub with the splines? Nope. I, that's all Volvo. So, yeah, it, it's it's a GM made, and it slides into the Volvo. Oh. The way I machined it and put it together and, oh. and, and welded it all up, so it does collapse. That's one of those details that's just so, like... Because you can't run the collapsible one in this because yeah. how big it is. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I had to shorten this that way. The other, the only collapsible one on this is where they just have yeah, two that's split. Yeah, and they're so large. They just split. Yep, they're and so large. Kind of, now, I also love using the cowl as the intake. Yep. That is such a cool trick. Well, I had nowhere to go. Yeah, I guess out of necessity. And all race cars, that's where they put them. You know, the track cars, they yeah. always sucked out. That's your cleanest air and your highest pressure air. Highest pressure. Yeah. That's right, everything's kind of displaced around them. So, yeah. and what I did is I put vents in on the floor. There's holes here if you look in there. It goes back through a tube. Yeah. And so then you do get fresh air? Yeah. There's vents here. Like so you a, didn't just close off your fresh air. You you no. just redirected it. Right here it comes in through these doors that you can open and shut like a like an old car. Yeah, just or like the, the 140s have okay. side flaps. Yeah. And it said that I can like open them halfway or all the way. Very coming cool. up this morning with the window shut, I had air blowing up my pants leg coming up. Oh. So the other than that, you can suffocate without having any. Yeah, air. yeah. Wow. And then there's no heater box. No heater box. So you have a lot of space underneath. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's no heat in it. Oh, uh, there's heat from the turbo. You know, I, yeah, my, 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 my you can just make a valve to, you know, fresh air or heat. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Do you have a name? What's the uh, towel bar in one of those boxes? 
Do you have a name of the car? Uh, I just call it the Goon. The Wagoon. The Wagoon. The Wagoon. Do you have a filter in here or just a phone? 